Thank you very much, Jenna. Well, many are calling this one of the worst holiday sales seasons on record. Deep discounts were not enough to boost the struggling retailers this holiday season. Retail sales plunged across most categories, unshrinking falling consumer spending. Total retail sales fell by 5.5% from November and 8% in December through Christmas Eve from last year. According to MasterCard's Spending Pulse Unit, and starting very early this morning, stores offering unbelievable sales, 50 to 90% off. But is it too little, too late? Jeff Green is the president and CEO of the retail consulting firm Jeff Green Partners, and Tim Spees, a partner from the accounting firm Eisner LLP. Uh, Tim, I'm going to start with you. Uh, we talked about this being a, a bad holiday season. Is it much worse than you thought it would be? I don't think so, actually. You know, I was looking at the gift card sales. Um, last year, uh, retailers were able to pull back on unused retail, retail card sales about $8 billion. That'll still be about $7 billion. So I think there's a lot of information still coming in where we saw the, the Visa MasterCard numbers. So in other words, you think this, I mean, everyone's already stamped this and said this is the worst it's ever been. You think it might not, uh, well, it's a glimmer of hope. Worst it's ever been is a huge statement. I mean, you'd have to go back pretty far. I think, I think the worst since 77, yeah, that's probably a true statement. Okay, uh, well, uh, wh what do you think? We talked about gift cards here. Uh, Jeff, do you think there's a chance that uh, these gift cards, maybe a lot of folks, because listen, people are a lot more sophisticated than they were in the past. Already my wife and my mother are gearing up to go out today. So do you think this last uh, couple of weeks could sort of bail out the industry? Well, I think you're talking about whether we're, whether we're talking about sales or profits. Because, I mean, even sales down a 5.5 to 8 percent, what does that mean for profits? Does that mean that because everybody is shopping value that profits will be down, I don't know, 6 to 10 to 12 percent? I think that's the real concern. You know, that, that's a great point, uh, profits. Uh, you know, Tim, we talked about uh, already this morning some of these companies maybe not surviving this. Uh, can profits be so low that they even take out some of the larger name retailers out there? Absolutely, sure. Consolidations and, and takedowns, yeah. I mean, there's there's two that we're watching. Um, it'd be unfair to, 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 to cite them, but I think there'll be stores that will not be around perhaps as soon as the end of the first quarter of nine. Wow. Jeff, you know what? Uh, speaking of sophisticated shoppers, some analysts believe that falling prices actually lead to hesitation among shoppers because they keep saying, the longer I wait, the lower prices go. How does the retail industry deal with that? Well, I think this year is a little bit different because um, all retailers have been really managing their inventories so that the available product after Christmas will be much less. Uh, for example, I think you, you'll see uh, the sizing in the stores, meaning if you're interested in a sweatshirt, you may only find a size small or a size too extra large. So that's going to kind of inhibit the amount of sales that can be done just because the product won't be there. You know, and so that's I, different this year. <laughs> well, sizing is always a problem for me, unfortunately. But so, uh, <laughs> Tim, yeah, when it's all said and done, where do you think this is going to rank, and what's going to be the lesson learned for retailers from 2008? I think the lesson learned is, um, you know, don't overproduce. I think the supplies were high. Unfortunately, they've conditioned us to expect sales and to wait. I think that mindset has to change. And I expect the first six months of 09 will still be very difficult for retailers. Jeff, do you think that's possible for retailers actually to recondition us and to not expecting to, to get all these wonderful sales? Oh, that's going to be very difficult over the next year. I think people have really changed their shopping patterns. I mean, just look at the success of Walmart this season. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, it just means that everybody's trading down, everybody's looking for value, and I think for many of the better or upscale retailers, it's going to be hard to train us back to uh, thinking about full price items. Got you. Yeah, I, I think Walmart, the, the story with Walmart is they've seen a huge uptick in the type of consumer they've attracted. To me, it's going to be who they're able to retain. You've seen a lot of shoppers, not traditional Walmart shoppers, that are now migrated over to that, to that chain. So in other words, people like you are now going to shop at Walmart? Oh, no, often <laughs> shop at Walmart? Come on. <laughs> All right, Tim, thanks a lot. <laughs> Jeff, really appreciate it. Uh, Merry Christmas. Now back over to you, Connell. Right, Same to you. Bye-bye. It is uh, nine minutes.